Okay, so me being bitch made as fuck. I hate being home alone at night. It trips me the fuck out. Literally listen for everything and every goddamn thing I hear. I think someone's breaking in. Pisses me off. I thought, ah, fuck, I ain't being productive. I'll make a video. Kick it with kick it with y'all for a minute. I just got a pack of steps coming anywhere, green. Let me know what you're packing in the comment section down below. Ow. Fuck. Dude, this finger's immobile. I burnt the fuck out of it. Like, badly. It hurts. I was working on one of my buddy's mopeds. I was fixing it for him. And somewhere along the line, I got burnt like a motherfucker. I don't remember where. I don't remember how. Somewhere it happened. <sighs> now, nah, me being me, and I assume a lot of my subscribers, I've had more than one encounter with the local law enforcement. Some of them were genuine people just trying to do their jobs. Some of them were straight dickheads. But, I don't know where I was going with that. First things first, my encounters with the law have never been anything, like, serious. Like, nothing that really puts you in jail time. Like, give you jail time? Uh, nah. I remember one time way back when, when I literally first started this channel. I ain't gonna add in the filler because that's a story on its own, but for some reason, this dude drove by my buddy's house. I lived here, lived right across the road from me. Drove by. I was holding my fucking pants up. Because in the summer, I dropped like two pant sizes. Like my pants, my pants will not fit comfortably unless it's winter when I get fat. When I like pick up some body weight. So I'm goddamn holding them up. Okay, this dude lives like four or five goddamn houses away. Drives by real, real fucking slow and looks at me. I look at him and he looks at me, drives by and go. So obviously I look at him and go. Like what the fuck, what's your deal? I'll flip him the fuck off. I walk out on the road and look at him, give him the dirty look back, motherfucker, as quick as he can. Some of my manages in this tiny ass road, flips around completely, rides up real quick, gets in the drive, slams his door, walks out. I'm like, what? What the fuck? Do you, what the fuck are you doing? What's your goddamn business? He looks at me, goes, <coughs> shit, you not. Beats on the fucking door, goes in and says something, comes out, and I'm like, dude, what kind of fucking dope are you on? God damn. <laughs> And about, uh, I let it get almost dark, I passed his house, and I fucking dropped my, and I was like, come to find out, I found out, he told the dude's cousin, who was old there, the oldest at the moment, told him, obviously he didn't give a fuck, he thought it was pretty goddamn funny, told him that I was being a pervert, and his niece was down the road grabbing my balls, I was grabbing where my goddamn belt would go, for one, so I decided, but that night I passed his house, and I decided I'd give him something to really fucking get pissed off about. Dropped my goddamn pants completely, showed him my ass, bent the fuck over and everything. Looked at me, acted like he was coming outside, I turned around, showed him my bird. Pulled my pants up, flipped him off, walked away. Didn't even get in trouble for like a decent exposure or anything. Swear to God, the cop was trying his damnedest not to laugh. But the cop rolls up. And where I see a lot of people fucking up with, with the police, is they antagonize. They like to be... They like... Some people, for some reason... Like to treat cops like they're bees. They think if they anta they they want to antagonize them, but then bitch about the consequences of getting stung. Okay, I don't do that. Cop rolled up, knocked on doors, like yo, you did you do anything not? I already knew what he was there for. I'm like yeah, pointed to the dude's house because he it wasn't that for him. Like, yeah, I mooned that motherfucker because he's been trying. I guess I had a bad day and thought he'd take it out on me and my friend. So yeah, told the cop literally everything that happened, story, everything that went down. Dude was trying his damn, he's not to laugh when I told him, he's like, listen, he was literally snickering, he's like, listen, you can't do that. He's like, I was like, I know, it just seemed like the most logical um, course of action. Cop literally told me, he's like, dude, don't do that shit again and lift. No charge, no nothing, didn't get you over decent, and decent exposure or whatever. Got off Scott, got damn free. Okay, well this one's kind of, this one will kind of work, I guess, this is kind of short and sweet. We mean a whole bunch of people I went to school with, because you know, our town is so small. Um, unless you got a whip, you know, unless you got a vehicle, which if you got a vehicle, you're probably just going to Walmart. But unless you got a car, after school, if you ain't got a job or whatever, you're probably just going to go hover down at the park. I don't know how it is now. I ain't been down there in a hot minute, but that's how it was when I was 15, 16 years old anyway. We'd all just, because elementary school, our elementary school is like 
super duper close to our park. Pretty much the same group of people constantly would just get off. At the elementary school, we'd all walk in a big pile and go to the park and just chill out there for till like 5.30 or 6 o'clock and just dip out slowly. But anyway, I literally did not know this. I do not pay these signs any attention. Cops pull up there regularly because obviously people do drugs there. And, you know, it's a public area. There's kids, mixed adults. People like to go there, and that's where, you know, sometimes, a lot of times, if someone's going to throw down, like, yo, park. So, obviously, cops drive by, check out, check on the, sh check on the shit regularly. There's a park bench, like a, like a picnic table. We was all hovering on it. Well, there were so fucking many of us. Some of us, me being one of them, was sitting on the actual table, like the actual tabletop. Okay. Cop rolls up. I guess just doing his check. This dude's just being pissy. I guess. He screams at the top of his lungs. Hey. Like, hey. I don't want to scream. That's retarded. But he screams at the top of his lungs. Like, hey. You two. Get over here right now. And we didn't know what he was talking to. Like, none of us were doing anything. Usually when the cop yells at you, you know, you've done something. I look at this dude. I'm not, we're not going to say his name. We'll call him. I'm going to call him D. I look at D and I'm like, dude, did you? What did you do? And he looks at me he's like, what did you do? Because me and him, we, we, we didn't. We didn't make the best choices at the moment. <laughs> Cop rolls over there. I'm trying to like mutter to him. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Do you know what, do you know what we did? I'm like, I was like, dude, I'm, I'm legit scared. I have no clue what we did. He's like, nah, man, just play it cool. And I'm like, obviously. We get over there and the cop goes, read that sign. I figured it was rhetorical, so I just looked at it and I kind of skimmed it. And Jay read it out loud and he said, read the last part again. And it said, uh, like some long line of no sitting on park bench, blah, 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 persecuted, whatever. And the cop tried to be all big and bad. I was like, what the fuck y'all think he was doing? And D looked like he's about to smart off. So I was like, officer, we didn't, honestly, we didn't. I, I've never paid any attention, you know. I've really never paid any signs any attention. I walk, I come from this way. Signs are here. I don't never see them. We weren't thinking much of it with all the graffiti and crap that's on those tables. And I've never seen we eat off of them. I mean, I don't think none of it. And he was like, to being a super duper dickhead. Just, that that literally takes cops off guard completely. Like, if you just sit there and you're like, admit your fuck shit, or admit your error, admit to it. Don't sit there and try to be all apologetic and kiss ass. If you just literally admit to your mistake, it takes a lot of their guards off. Like, the ones that just try to get you in trouble for the sake of getting you in trouble. It literally, like, destroys any bit of guard or attack they have. Literally, I will say it again. I'll repeat it 50 million times in this video. Obviously, it's not gonna get get let you get away with murder, fucking obviously. But something small, do not don't turn nothing into something. I seriously, I know it's faked a lot, but I watch that like show cops and stuff, and watch the videos on YouTube. I've seen so many times that cops are literally just trying to help the people out, and them being straight dickheads and assholes, trying to either fight the cop or calm this and that, blah blah whatever. No, I'm not saying you got to kiss their ass, but literally, okay, let's say you get pulled over and your tail lights out or something or your, your turn signal don't work. Cop stops you like, you know, I pulled you over, cut through all the bullshit. Don't try to bullshit them. Don't try to treat them like they're stupid. Be like, yeah, officer, let's follow that example. Yes, officer, I know my tail lights out, but I had to go blah, 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 wherever. I don't have the money right now to fix it. I was afraid I'd get arrested, but I had to risk it. I was afraid I'd get a ticket, but I had to risk it. Oh, I said arrested. Swear to God. I mean, you may possibly still get the ticket. But it will help you a lot better than going, What the fuck you up in my business, pig? God damn, go fuck with someone else. God damn, I, what the fuck's wrong with you, piggy? You say that, the, the cop will probably let you off. Like, I got a very similar one. I got a little moped. I was riding it one day. I rode it to work one day. Shouldn't have one done. But it worked fine. So I went to leave. When I went to leave, for some reason, my headlights wouldn't work. I get down the hill. Like my work, I go down a hill. Like a literally two-minute ride down a hill. Then I cut up and come straight up the hill and I get here pretty much. Okay, I get to the foot of the hill. Cop blue lights me. Pulls me over. And he was like, and he was kind of young, kind of close to my age. He's like, dude, why don't you got headlights? And I look at him. I was like, well, that's a fuck up on my part. He said, yeah, it is. I'm like, I'm like, um... They did work. I promise they did work. Before when I left, I just got off work. He's like, "Where you work?" I'm like, "Right there, gas station." I was like, "It's like it worked." 
before I left for work. Like anyone will tell you, my dad will tell you, my mom will tell you, my headlights did work. Like my headlights ain't working, my speedometer ain't working, my gas cage isn't working. I have no clue what the problem is. It got me down here just fine, but for some reason it's not working. And he goes, you, you should get a ticket for this because, you know, blah, blah, register as a motorcycle, whatever, blah, blah, bullshit. And I was like, I know, I know you just, I looked and I was like, no, you're just doing your job, man, but I really can't afford a ticket right now. I barely make like $200 a week. I literally cannot afford that. And he was like, same city. He's like, you know what, you was honest with me, didn't bullcrap me. This was short and sweet when I was fearing you would have made it the most painful ass thing in the world, pretty much low key was saying that. And he's like, how far back are you going? At the moment, I was going to my dad's. I'm like, way back here. He said, damn, ain't no street lights. You need me to follow you home? I said, it'd be appreciated. I was not looking forward to riding in the straight dark. Dude followed me all the way home. Like, instead of getting the ticket and possibly getting my moped uh, taken away or whatever, uh, I just treated it like he was a normal person. And he literally followed me home. He made sure I got home. So like, I will, you know, it's obvious. A lot of them are out there just be assholes and fuck up people and fuck with you afternoon. And it sucks when you got those. I've gotten one or two of those. Luckily, I didn't really do anything bad. They was just trying to find a way to get me in trouble when I just didn't have anything on me. Didn't do anything bad. But pretty much every time I've been pulled over and risked either a ticket or possible jail time, I would just talk to the cop like a normal person and put off just that vibe of, yo, I understand you're just doing your job. I ain't getting nothing twisted. Whatever. You know, you just, you're, trying to earn your, you're trying to earn your paycheck same as me. I cut through all the bullshit. Because I don't know why people think they ain't outsmart cops. If a cop pulls you over and asks you if you've been drinking or if you have marijuana or if you have drugs, whatever the case may be, if a cop pulls you over or stops you and asks you something, they ain't, most of them, I really don't even think the ones that are dickheads are just going to pull you over to pull you over and just so coincidentally ask you that and you just so happen to have that they know dude they know before they pull you over they have a pretty damn like 99% idea of like let's say you're driving drunk and you think you're doing pretty damn good pulls you over you've been drinking tonight they probably know pretty fucking good and well yeah he's drinking or you smell like pot they get yeah he's got he got pot he's stone death you cut through all the bullshit and you just and if you if it's true and they say, yo, you've been doing this? You say, yeah. I've been doing it. Yep. Very much so. Just cut through all the bullshit and don't try to take them for idiots. And you'll get off a hell of a whole lot easier, I swear to God. It's been nice, it's been nice talking to y'all. Again, let me know what y'all dipping in the comment section down below. Let me know. Give me like a brief um, shit if any of y'all had any fucked up run-ins with the law. Or any foul ways you got out of trouble with the law. It, Drop me a brief summary of it in the, in the comment section, dude. Hell yeah.